Cascading New Knowledge. From this module until the end of the course, we will spend some time discussing how you can share your knowledge and experiences with colleagues who are not taking the course. We will also explore ways in which you can collaborate with other professionals in the field, both face-to-face -face and virtually. In this introductory video, we will explain the term cascading, discuss why cascading activities have been included in the course, consider how you may benefit from cascading, and describe how you can get engaged in cascading. Let's start. What is cascading? You have certainly seen a cascade before, a waterfall descending over a steep rocky surface. You may have also encountered this word in other contexts. A cascade of sounds, or a cascade of events, where this word is used metaphorically to refer to something falling or rushing forward in large quantities. In education, cascading is often used to describe a way of sharing knowledge and experience among professionals. For example, after attending a professional development event and learning new approaches, some teachers may teach other teachers what they have learned. In other words, they cascade new knowledge. Why cascading in this course? There are two main reasons. You may have guessed the first one, increasing the course impact. When you are accepted to this course and the open program, you were given a fantastic opportunity to learn and grow professionally with peers from all over the world. Once you complete the coursework, we are certain you'll become a fountain of knowledge. It's only fair that you share some of your knowledge with those who have not had the chance to join the program. The second reason is perhaps less obvious. Double your learning. A Roman proverb says, when we teach, we learn. You know that from your own experience, explaining something new to students pushes you to think deeper and harder about that concept. You reorganize your knowledge and that improves your own understanding. Also, it helps you identify ideas you need to clarify or things you need to improve. We are sure you have many questions about cascading. What does cascading look like in practice? Will I have to organize lectures or classes for my colleagues? I don't have time for this. Cascading can take many shapes and forms. In many ways, it mirrors teacher learning which can take place in formal to informal contexts. In the weeks to come, we'll take a closer look at various cascading options and help you select the most suitable ones for your teaching environment. We hope this video has helped you understand why we have included the cascading thread in this course. We want you to become a fountain of knowledge, not only for your students, but also for your colleagues. We know you can do it.